Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. Sometimes I have to use my mouth to move the stitches along the end of this thing. But I am busy knitting Beelinders. That's how far I've got. I am actually on, I've just measured it. And it measures 16 and a half inches and I have to do it up to 20 inches because Belinda likes a longer cardigan. That's what takes along with this one with the extra, the extra length I have to do. So I have another four and a half inches to do to get up to the armholes. And then once the back is done the two front pieces don't take as long because there uh, are less stitches on the, uh, the needle and the same with the sleeves a little bit. Sleeves is normal uh, length, just have to do a longer length. She wants it to measure the back to measure 30 inches. So there's nothing else I can do today. I've done all my, what I normally do on a Wednesday, vacuum all around my house and dust this and clean that. And my once, once a week that everything gets done. But it is just another rotten, it's a lot brighter today because I haven't had to put the light on to do this video in the room which I did yesterday because it was so dark but it is still raining, it's going to be raining all day today so when you've got weather like that <laughs> what I'm doing here is the best thing to be doing isn't it just sitting knitting once you've finished what you have to do I mean I haven't washed my dinner dishes so <laughs> after do this video I'll have to go downstairs and Get them to do another day there at the tea time. So anyway, I'll put that down a minute and show you what else I've been doing. A little cardigan. Now I have two fronts done on it. So I'll do maybe it's one of the sleeves tomorrow. I'm just doing a piece every day on on them because I'm going to do a few for the the young girl next door and so that's that one that will be done and the cardigan here I have the neck on it I'll put the neck band on all I have to do now is do the the two front bands and stitch it all up and put the buttons on. And this one will be finished and I may do some sewing tomorrow morning on this instead of other things because I'll be out tomorrow night at my bingo. So I won't be here for to do what I normally do with knitting on this. So I'll probably do the um, the bands tonight and if I can manage it because I do not like sewing of a night time it's using having to use an artificial like I like my sewing to be done during the day and the early day while we have daylight it's going to be a better it's still going to be rain tomorrow but not quite as much so it's probably be a lot brighter day so it'll be a brighter day for sewing so I have that and the, the two sleeves to go with it to stitch on and then I may be able to get that posted on Friday. But I have done a bit more on this blanket. Coming on, getting a bit longer. And it is lovely and warm when it's on my knee. Because <laughs> when I'm doing these blankets, they're lovely and warm and they start getting a good size when I can rest them on my knee. 
one of my other knitting them or crocheting them and this one is a good size I think it is wider than my baby blankets I'm doing I'll, I'll check I've got my baby blanket in the bag down here which I'll be showing you in a minute anyway pop this all down there take that needle out It's about that much wider. Put the pieces together. As you can see there. So it is a little bit wider. It's better as a lap blanket for an adult instead of this one as it would be a, a blanket for a baby or a lap blanket. So it would still do as a, a lap blanket, but if I was doing lap blankets for adults, I would probably do them like I'm seeing this green one a little bit wider. So I have done, I am using the larger balls now. I don't know how many rows I got done with the larger ball. I can't tell where where the join is. Where I stitch the, the pieces together so I can't tell where there's a join and where there isn't a join anymore. So I... Do it doesn't take long, and I think it only took me about half an hour because the balls are about the size of the full balls that still have the labels on. So I got quite a bit done with that one. I think I got about one, two, three, four. I think I did about four rows with the ball. I'm not sure whether it's still quite a full ball. I'll have to weigh some of them that I have and see whether they're actual full balls, but they look like full balls anyway. So that's how much I've got done of that one. that over there and Sammy was sitting on that one <laughs> in the corner there and like I'm seeing this one I've got one or two I think I want you doing a couple more rows on it get a bit more of that one done another day have to fold it up and put the, the wool back in the middle Look there and fold it. Put the other needle, stick the other needle in so to stop it coming apart. There, put the needle in, put that down there, took that away. And apart from what I'm doing here now, that's all I've done today. I'm going to be I'm going to wind some more balls of wool with this before long. The, I think by the time I get up to the um, the armholes, it's getting a bit smaller too, balls that's inside there that I'm using. So this is what I'm going to sit and do this afternoon. Do as much as I can of um, this one and then later on tonight I'll do the bands on on Sue's cardigan and if the light is good enough I may try to do a bit sewn on it too because it won't take me that long to put those two bands on and it depends what the what, what the light's like of a night time because I don't know what what size bulb I have in this room actually there and maybe a um, like a 20 watt equivalent to 100, I think. I'm not sure because this was just used as a bedroom, so it didn't have a big strong light in, but I have one or two other ones I could change to put in it. And I haven't gotten round to changing my things in this room so I can put my printer and sewing machine. I have to sort out the the table in my other bedroom. Find some way to put all the, the rubbish I have on top of that table as well. But one or two people were worried thinking that I was going to be shifting heavy furniture around, but it's not. It's a very light table. It's only got tubular legs, light tubular legs, and it was just a bit of um, hardboard 
or whatever board you call it that you put on table tops that my husband put um, on it. It is quite light to move around, so nobody needs to worry about me moving furniture around. So this is all I have to do this afternoon and watch my things on my TV. I was doing my older computer, the one I watch all my TV and films on with because it has a 17 inch screen. It's supposed to have an 8 gigabyte ROM in it, which really it should make that computer quite fast when you switch it on, but when you switch it on, it takes ages to come on and that. And I have a, um, a disc that I put in into it, which is called, it's called Norton Utilities, and it checks everything in the computer. It checks all the how much space you have left in it, and um, it, you can check the registry and correct any errors that go through it like a scan process and um, it'll put right any errors in your registry or in your things in your computer and it showed me all the things in that system and according to the information that it come up it says there's only two gigabyte of ROM in it but when I check all the specifications on the computer it says eight gigabyte of RAM well, I'm not sure whether there's been a mistake made in that computer. If there is only a 2 gigabyte ROM, that's why it's so slow. Because 8 gigabyte is what you have in a gaming computer, 8 and 16 gigabyte. That's because, you know, you use these games and that, and they are fast. You need a computer that works fast. Now one should work the same way, but every time I've checked the specifications through this the Norton Utilities disk, you get it with the Norton virus, antivirus thing and that. And I got this disk and I keep it in that computer and every time I've checked the the health or it says the health of the um the laptop, it keeps saying two gigabyte of ROM and I thought that can't be right. I'm going to open it up and have a look. I'm going to check that ROM on it to see whether it's a two or an eight gigabyte. If it's only a two gigabyte, I've got done with this computer five years ago. I think it's five years old. And that's why it's so slow. And if it is, I'm going to see if I can buy, because there's nothing I can do about it now, see if I can buy the um, the eight gigabyte ROM that should be in and change it to, to make the computer faster. Because even when I try to go on the internet, um, to go on YouTube or anything like that, just turning pages over. You know, sometimes I'm waiting and waiting for the page to come on. And <laughs> it's a good computer apart from that. But it's got a crappy camera in it as well. That's why I use my other computer for doing videos because um, it's not high definition. And just the quality of the, the videos is just what I call utter crap. I have got a webcam thing I can attach to the, the thing if I wanted to use it all together. Instead of switching from one computer to another. <laughs> but that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to switch it off, cool it down, and I'm going to unscrew it and have a look at the specification at the, the things that's inside it to see whether it has an 8 gigabyte or a 2 gigabyte ROM inside. Because I'm thinking, I don't know whether maybe it means that's all that's left of the ROM, 2 gigabytes out of the 8 gigabyte because of all the things I have in it. But I'll not know till I open it up anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. So <laughs> that'll probably take some of my time away from my knitting. <laughs> and if anyone is interested has been thinking about buying any of my knitting patterns um i have them on ebay and etsy and ebay have dropped their selling fee so they don't charge any fees now i have been on to all my knitting patterns the paper patterns you can only get paper patterns off ebay you can't get pdfs they are on etsy um as well as the pdf as well as the paper patterns 
So I knocked the price down to two pound fifty, which was what I was selling them for in the first place, and I had to put the price up when the postage and that went up and that. But um, I put the price back down to two pound fifty. So if anyone is thinking about buying any paper patterns, have a look on AB. You'll get them cheaper than they are on Etsy. So that's just a little bit of information. I'm going to get on with my editing now. So thumbs up and subscribe. I'll catch you all another time, so bye for now.